This is the first video. It's the first video I'm ever recording on this camera. Do I have like the beauty filter on? No. Wow. Ah! Hello. Welcome to my first official YouTube video. Internet friends, internet foes, family, grandma, just kidding, rest in peace grandma, dad, mom, aunts, uncles, friends from high school, friends from college, sorority sisters, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are as excited to be here as I am excited to start this. It, um, sorry, water break, my heart rate. My heart rate's like 185 beats per minute right now. Anyways, okay, we're gonna get into a video that's just like a little day in the life vlog. It's literally just me around my apartment doing nonsense. But first I wanna give you guys just like a quick little intro because this is my first video. So I feel like I have to do some sort of introduction to myself. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me just like we're on TikTok because we're having fun here, okay? This is a fun channel. This isn't like a, this isn't serious. We're not taking it seriously. We're just, we're literally having fun. This is for shits, this is for gigs. If this is your first time ever seeing me, my name's Taryn. Ugh, I literally can't do this intro. Why is this so awkward? Thank you for coming over to my YouTube channel, whether you came from my Instagram or my TikTok, or maybe you just randomly found me on your recommended, which I highly doubt it, but pff, don't never say never. Um, wait, I, I didn't say never, but I thank you. Um, my name is Taryn Lamb. I'm 25 years old. I am from Oregon, like the suburbs of Portland, Oregon is where I grew up. I lived my whole life there. In Oregon, I went to college at the University of Oregon. I graduated from the University of Oregon in 2021. I graduated in advertising was my degree. And I graduated on a Friday and I started my first job on a Monday. So I had about two days off in between graduating and starting my first job. And my first job was at a marketing agency out of Austin, Texas. So I packed my bags and I moved away from Oregon for the first time in my life. I moved to Austin sight unseen. I'd never been here before. I actually moved here with a man. At the time I was in a relationship that, that is no longer, but I did move here with someone else, got an apartment in Austin, moved in together. And I started my life in Austin, Texas, and I haven't left since. I'm, I've been here about almost three years in April. Not too long after moving here, I quit my first job at the marketing agency and I went and worked in sales at Oracle NetSuite. I quickly realized that cold calling and sales was not my thing. And I actually ended up leaving Oracle NetSuite because I got recruited to TikTok. I worked at TikTok for a little under two years. I was an account manager there. I was working with brands on the platform. It was really fun. I met my boyfriend at work. I met so many of my best friends here at work. I absolutely loved it. But when I left, it was time for me to go because around halfway into the time of me working at TikTok, I started posting on social media a lot, specifically TikTok. And basically what happened was I decided to run my first half marathon and I started posting content about like training for the half marathon and running it. And it ended up starting to do like kind of well on TikTok. And that was when I started to get the confidence of like, hmm, maybe I should start posting on TikTok more. Cause like I kind of always knew that social media was something that I wanted to do, but I was just very scared to do it, to start it. I really like lacked the confidence that it took to do it and be myself on the internet. So, so around this time, this is like early 2023, my boyfriend's like, Taryn, you really need to start posting more. Like, I really think you should do this. And I was like, you know what, you're right. So that's when I really started leaning into social media. I started posting on TikTok. I started posting more on Instagram and I just started pretty much doing it full time while working at my corporate job. Because at this point, my job was fully remote, which gave me a lot of freedom to work, but also post on social media kind of sim simultaneously. But eventually we returned to office three days a week and I found it really hard to juggle both the job and social media while being in the office three days a week. So that's when I decided to look for new jobs and leave TikTok because I really wanted to find a fully remote job that could like give me the flexibility to do social media, but also have a job and also like be able to, you know, go and travel and see my family and just like have that, literally just have flexibility. When we were fully remote at TikTok, I loved it. I was able to do social media, train for a half marathon, work, go visit my family, travel. And it was just like perfect. But once we went back in office, 
I found myself really stressed. I found that my ADHD was way worse. So that's kind of why I decided to leave TikTok and now I work fully remote in marketing. So that's kind of my career progression to here. And I get some questions like, well, what are your like long-term goals? Do you want to work in corporate forever, blah, 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 blah. The short answer is obviously no, that isn't my long-term goal to work in corporate forever, but that's gonna have to be a whole nother video where I get into like long-term career progression and stuff like that. But outside of career stuff, I'm a runner. I'm training for my second half marathon. I'm not a very good runner. I'm a little bit slow, but I, you know, I'm trying. So there may be some running content on here every now and again, we'll see. My second half marathon is in about a month. So I'm, I'm terrified because right now, I just ran eight miles this last weekend and I was struggling, struggling. Oh, fuck. I totally forgot that I have plans tonight. Why do they do that? Um, I also have two cats. That's one of them sitting on my bed. That's Cowboy. I also have a cat named Whiskey, but I don't know where he is right now. I adopted them both when I moved to Texas. They're both from animal shelters. Adopt, don't shop. Okay, I said this earlier, but I do have a boyfriend. His name is Rafa. We met at work. We've been together about a year and a half-ish. He's amazing. He is originally from Mexico City. So we have gone to Mexico a few times together and it's so much fun. He's also just taught me so much about Mexican culture, Mexican food. It's been so fun dating him. I've been learning Spanish. Hola, como estas? Muy bien, y tú? Okay, wait, what else did I miss? Oh, I have three siblings. I have two older brothers and an older sister. They all live in Oregon, except one of my older brothers lives here. We're actually neighbors. But before we get into the vlog, and I'll try to shut the fuck up so that we can get this moving, I would love for you guys to comment the type of content that you would like to see on my YouTube. Um, if it's like vlog style, is it like talking about a specific thing? Like, is it beauty? Like, tell me what kind of content you want specifically for YouTube, because I will make it. Once I get comfortable in front of this vlog camera, it's over for you bitches. Now, I may not be a beauty guru. I might not be able to snatch my face like some others might be able to, but I do believe that I can do a mean lip combo and I pride myself a lot on my lip combos. So we're gonna share the lip combo before we get into the vlog today, okay? I'm sorry, I'm keeping you here, okay? I love me snatching my lips for all my Zoom calls today. Just personality, higher things. Just kidding, guys. I'm fucking smart. I have a lot of qualifications, okay? I have a lot of qualifications and I do deserve to be in this role. I'm smart. I'm successful. I'm a thought leader. I'm gonna put on a little glouse, a little Clarins lip oil. Okay, I'm just gonna touch up my hair and then it's time to go to work. It's time to get on the keyboard. All right, I'm shutting up now. Let's get into the vlog. I filmed this vlog yesterday. I had the day off work because it was MLK day. So enjoy just a day off with me. And yeah, thank you for watching this long ass intro. Subscribe and like this video or else. Good morning, guys. We, it's Monday. What is the date? What is it? January 15th. January 15th. It's really cold outside. It's like 20 degrees. My cat pooped all over his butt fur last night, so I have to clean his little bum. And then we're gonna go get some coffee, maybe make breakfast, and then we're gonna go to a workout class if the roads aren't too icy. Baby boy, did you poop all over your pants? It's like having a little kid. Also guys, I wanna do an updated apartment tour at some point, but my apartment's not clean enough for that right now. But when I do get it clean, I wanna make a video of an apartment tour because I've changed so many things since I did like an initial apartment tour on TikTok. Oh! I love you. There are rattlesnakes, but there's not bears in Texas. In Big Bend. Be Big Bend is Texas. I know, but there are bears in Big Bend. <laughs> We're arguing because we're going to Big Bend in two weeks and he's convinced that there's gonna be bears. <laughs> Wait, like that's exciting. Like I know we'll see one for sure. I wanna see bears. I don't think there's gonna be bears, but oh, I didn't wash myself tanner off my hands last night. <laughs> my favorite thing is when a word in Spanish 
is the same as English. It just has like, like it just has flair. Like I was like, what's sweater in Spanish? She's like, sweater. <laughs> it's just sweater. I think I'm gonna wear this red set from Free People. Rafa's using the restroom and I need to get in there and brush my teeth and get ready to go, but he's taking quite a long time in there. <laughs> Every time a man goes to the bathroom, tell me why it takes hours. Hours, it takes me, give me six and a half minutes max. Done. Him, hours. Never live with a man and only have one bathroom. We're about to cook breakfast. We're gonna make avocado toast and some eggs. And then we're probably gonna go our separate ways for the day because we both really need to be productive today. But if we hang out, we will just sit on the couch and watch TV all day. And we did that yesterday, so today needs to, something needs to happen. I wanna be lazy so bad, but so that I'm not just like a ball of stress and anxiety during the week. Guys, this is a sexy ass loaf of bread. We never make breakfast. Actually, I think this is the first time in our entire relationship. No, we've made it a few times. No, we haven't. When? Uh, Here? I mean, like maybe a handful, like at least five. Maybe we've made breakfast twice in our whole relationship, so. This is a big moment for us. We love to wake up, go get coffee, and then buy breakfast out, but we need to be more financially responsible, so we're not doing that today. So I'm gonna cut the pieces nice and thick. This is for a taste test. Taste test of the bread. See if it's poisonous. Bro, oh, whiskey, get off, get off the counter. I can't do this. No, I can't have cats on the counter while I'm cooking, no. You're out of this avocado went to private school. Look at that. You ever the bread? We use this truffle oil instead of normal oil, so we'll see if it's good. How many sauces do you want? And of course, the only hot sauce you should ever use on eggs or anything breakfast related, right here. The water would be amazing. Do you have any in your hydro? Yeah, I'll bring some of it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Honey. Cowboy. These are so good. Have you ever had? Compa. No. That bread is phenomenal. I told you. Gracias. It's like so corny and the acting is kind of bad, but it's kind of really good. It reminds me of like Pretty Little Liars for some reason. It's corny as hell and like the acting sucks, but I'm kind of into it. Is anyone else watching this? The Fool Me Once show? Rafa just left, so now I need to do chores. And I need to film some content for TikTok, but I just have real lack of creativity. Like I have no creativity going on in my head right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know why anyone could give literally a shit about my life because I just feel like I have nothing interesting to say today. Also, this is my Puss in Boots um, Build-A-Bear that Rafa got me for Valentine's Day from Build-A-Bear. Because Puss in Boots is my favorite movie. I just want to rot all day. I literally just want to rot right here. But I know that I need to get up and have responsibilities to do it. Let's just rot together, okay? For like five minutes. Let's just do it. Oh, I could take a nap. Okay, I need to get up. That's it. take my colostrum. 
hope this tastes good. This is a new flavor. Mmm! Holy shit. That is 100% the best flavor of colostrum. <laughs> Just look at the difference when I turn my vanity on. I don't think I have anything left in me creatively today, so... Oh my god. This shit smells so good. It's the Fleur Missing Person perfume. I also have the Father Figure. Oh! Maybe I'll just put on lip gloss. For fun. This is like my last, what, six hours before bed before I have to start thinking about work tomorrow. We are back in my kitchen today because I'm making something really exciting and that is canned chicken meat for my cats. Quick little tutorial of how I prepare their food. Nope, 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 nope. No. You're gonna have to wait on the floor. No, no. No whiskey. I'm not doing this. Ugh. Time to do my laundry. Every time I do my laundry, I miss my mom. I need to call her. I need to do a better job of calling my parents. Don't look at my drawers. I don't know what to do with the rest of my day. And I'm kind of sad Rafa left because now that he's gone, like I wanna watch a movie, but it's fine. Don't look at my drawers. I'm just like having a lot of anxiety about work tomorrow because I have to set these campaigns live and it's like the first campaign I've ever set up at this new job. And I'm just convinced that I screwed the entire thing up and I have so much anxiety and I'm gonna die. Thank you. Now I'm just gonna send some emails because I'm really important and a lot of people wanna hear from me. A lot of people want me to circle back with them. People love <laughs> my morning, man my manifestations. People love seeing me hit their inbox. People love seeing my name in their inbox. Um, I just called Rafa because I was like, wait, I miss you. Can you come over again and watch a movie with me? Because I miss you and I'm bored and I don't want you to leave. And he was like, okay, fine, I'll come back over. Let's watch a movie. And I was like, yeah. So he's coming over and he's bringing me Asian food. <laughs> Guys, I love my mom. I love my mother. I'm like texting her right now on my laptop and I texted her, I'm like, oh my God, how are you? Like, and I sent her a picture of my breakfast this morning and she goes, this is her response. You need to always remember that if you ever, in all caps, get in a car accident, you never admit fault. <laughs> I'm just like, what does that have to do with anything we were talking about? I love her, she's so silly. <gasps> What is it? We got some wonton soup. Wonton soup? Rice. Rice? I think so. See, that's rice. Chopsticks. Oh, dude, this chicken looks good. Yeah. Bad dice. I wasn't hungry, but now, now I am. The smell oh, makes you hungry, huh? Get out of here! And we will be having. Cherry cola and root beer. What should we watch? That's fire. I put a lot of onion. I said no scallion. No onion. Should I get soy sauce? For which one? The rice. Do you want? Try the wonton soup. It has little bacon bits. It's like pork rinds. Chicharrones. <laughs> this is the worst show I've ever seen in my life. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not the worst show ever. I could suggest that she stops donating. But she soon moved on to other questions. 
It's so late, Rafa just left. My stomach hurts from all that food that we ate. And I need to get ready for bed. And I need PJs on now. You know what, while we're at it, we might as well just do my nighttime skincare too. Just to finish off this first YouTube video that I ever upload, right. Okay, first I'm gonna wash my face. I cleanse my skin with the <laughs> I need to go to bed. Okay, first I'm gonna cleanse with the Face Reality Ultra Gentle Cleanser. How cute is this? Then I'm gonna take off any of the excess makeup with one of these cleansing pads. Okay, Tower 28 spray. This is some toner. This is Lancome. It's this one. Clarins Double Serum. Oh my god, I'm getting really bad Sunday, Monday, Monday scaries. Okay, I know this skincare routine is a lot. I usually don't do this much in the morning, it's just at night. I'm gonna use this Caudalie? Caudale. I don't know. This serum. What's next? Um. Okay, now this is actually one of my favorite skincare products at the moment. It's the Colleen Rothschild Retinol Supreme Night Oil. This shit, mm-hmm. I love to put oils on my skin because I have like the driest, crustiest, dustiest, driest skin ever. So I found that using oils like really, really works for me. I'm gonna let that soak in and brush my teeth. Brush my teeth, tongue scrape and floss. It's my holy little nighttime trinity. Aquaphor on the lips. Love you, Aquaphor. Then the last things that I do for my dry, crusty skin is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Jet Lag. Jet Lag Mask. This is like very hydrating. Ew, why did I say it like that? This is like very hydrating. This is very hydrating for my crusty skin. So I'm gonna put that on. <laughs> sorry guys, I'm sorry if this vlog is like a little bit awkward. I'm still getting used to talking into like this DSLR camera. Is that what it's called? Staring at me with like all these like microphones and shit. So cut me some slack, okay? I promise I'll get used to it, but it's not quite like talking to my little iPhone. Oh wait, I forgot a step, hold on. I'm gonna use this Colleen Rothschild. I'm gonna use this Colleen Rothschild Retinol Supreme Eye Cream. I use this every night. I'm actually quite in love with it because it has like this metal applicator and it's just like very soothing. Thank you, Colleen, for inventing this product because I really do love it. Colleen, you served. Oh, I can't say that word. Um, I have a feeling that my family is gonna be watching these videos that I make on YouTube. Whereas like they don't really watch my TikToks because they don't know how to use TikTok, but I do think they'll probably watch my YouTube. So um, hi mom and dad, and I'll try to keep, keep it as PG-13 as I can. Last step, well almost last step. My last step for moisturizing is the snail. The snail juice. Um, no, but this is the Cosrx Snail Mucin. And I put that on as like a last layer. And then, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take some tanning water. This is the Salty Face Medium to Dark Tanning Water. And just give her a spritzy before bed. And I'm gonna put some lash serum on. This is the IGK Lookout Lash Serum. I just started using this, so I can't tell you if I like it or not yet, but my lashes are short as hell right now, so I hope that they that it does some something to them. I think that's it for the skincare. Actually, I might put on a little lip mask on top of the Aquaphor, because my lips just get so dry. This is a make lip mask in the flavor i think it's mango now i just have to scoop the litter box and get in bed 
Oh, my bad. Finally getting into it again. I'm reading Acomath, or yeah, Acomath. Good night vlog, good night YouTube, good night internet friends, good night internet foes, and good night to anyone watching this that maybe went to high school with me because my senior quote was, fuck it we ball, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm fuck it we balling, and I'm making YouTube videos. I'm just kidding, that wasn't my senior quote, but... <laughs>